Hey guys, how are beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dan. Today I have a pretty exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna review the four new launches from La Roche Posay, the oil control range. Uh, I did post a lot of shorts about these sunscreens, but um, there's just so much information you can put in a short. I wanted to give you like a full long video review to actually share my, my experience with these sunscreens, my opinions. Uh, I'm gonna compare them to the original UV Mill range and um, yeah before I start consider following me on Instagram subscribe to this channel for more skincare reviews um, give this video a thumbs up it helps with the algorithm exposing this video to as many people as possible and I guess I'm gonna start with like all the similarities between all these sunscreens they're all 50 ml they all cost pretty much the same between 14 to 17 dollars I would say uh, the price varies a lot like I said in many of my videos it's between 15 you can find it for even 25 dollars in some places so it's like be careful where, you, where you're buying it from but i paid around 16 17 dollars for most of this when it comes to irritant ingredients pretty much all of them have alcohol in them the fluids have a lot more alcohol than the creams um when it comes to fragrance all the tinted versions have a fragrance in them the other ones you can find them fragrance free also with fragrance <laughs> this one however i think this one is only only in fragrance the fluid oil control i only was able to find it with fragrance so i don't know if they have a fragrance free version i guess they don't um now all of them are found acne safe however there are like different ingredients list for wait, 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 for these two the creams from the new range, the oil control range. Like, based on the more official information that I found, all of them are found like safe. But on some websites, I found like a different ingredient list for these two. So, I still think they're found like safe, but yeah, I'm not like 100% like sure. For some reason, there are different ingredient lists for these two on some websites, and they're not found like safe. They kind of have like two found like triggering ingredients. But, I'm kind of 90% sure all of them are from what can say, which is amazing. I love La Roche Posay for that. Now, speaking of similarities, all of these sunscreens have the same exact UV filters. Uh, they all contain the new released, well, not that new anymore, but still pretty new. The new released Mexico 400 filter, which is amazing, covers against ultra long UVA rays. Uh, we don't have any other filter currently at the market that protects against this specific wavelength. So yeah, based on that, I think these uh, sunscreens are pretty unique, innovative. So for the nerds out there, <laughs> we have Octisalate, we have even 0150, Tinasorb S, um, Mexero XL, UV, uh, Mexero 400, uh, even all A plus and Mixer SX. So th these are the filters. A lot of filters that's gonna offer amazing protection through the entire UV range. Um, the new range. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the new range. It is. I love it, but I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I don't like the name oil control. These sunscreens are a little bit more mattifying than the originals, but they're not definitely not like matte or oil controlling they are a little bit more oil controlling than compared to the original version but still far from oil controlling and uh, i'm gonna post the videos probably here so you guys can see how they look like i'm gonna go probably from worst to best i'm gonna start with this one which is the la roche posay uv Mil 400 oil control tinted gel cream i think that's the name it's a very long name <laughs> This is horrible, you guys, this is horrible. Don't buy this one. It's very hard to spread, it goes on patchy, settles in all of my tiny little wrinkles. The tint is horrible. I'm gonna be up, you guys can see. It's, it goes on so patchy that I'm actually not convinced about the protection on this one. There are some like, when I look in the mirror, there are some patches of skin that are not covered, which makes me think, those are areas of skin that are not protected, which is horrible. <laughs> it's actually mind-blowing for me that a company like La Roche-Posay decided, they tested this and they decided to put it on the market. Like, that's just mind-blowing for me. It, it's that bad. It's one of the worst sunscreens I've tried. The only one I could think of that's as, as bad as this, or maybe even worse, is the uh, Yuriage Beria Sun, this one. 
It's also tinted. Oh, come on. This is very, very bad. You guys, I just opened the window. It's so freaking hot in my apartment. I guess you can like, hear some birds singing there. <laughs> okay, so if I had to compare this one to the original UV Moon, this is much better. I mean, it doesn't go as patchy, it doesn't go as streaky. Um, the tint is still too dark for me, but I mean, at least not that hard to spread. It gives you this even layer of protection and it's gonna work for people with like darker skin tone than mine. It's gonna work pretty well for them. So yeah, the, I cannot recommend this one. I can simply not recommend this, so bad. Third place is this one, is the UV Moon 400 oil control. Ah, oh, these names. This UV Moon 400 oil control gel cream. It is in the third place, but it's actually much better than the tinted one. It's miles ahead of the tinted one. It is on the third place just because it's a little bit more hard to spread compared to the um, fluid versions and um, I think it offers a lower UVA protection, don't quote me on that, I just... The original one offers UVA protection of 35, I don't know about the UVA protection of this one, but generally speaking, over the years, the cream versions of La roche posay sunscreens they offer a lower protection compared to the fluid versions, around like 10 units usually, so... Um, that's the only reason. Otherwise, um, this one is fragrance free, the one I have. It does look slightly more matte compared to the original version and it, it does control well a bit better. I'm still greasy towards the end of the day because I have extremely oily skin. But still, yeah, let's, I think now that we have the oil control versions, I, the original ones are not that great when it comes to the like the texture unless you have very dry skin they're gonna work better for you but for for the other people with other skin types the oil control versions are gonna work much better I, I know some people said the original ones gave them kind of like a yellow cast this one should work better for you because they included a pretty good amount of silica in this one to make it more matte and silica is this white powder that probably neutralizes a little bit the yellow tint of the sunscreen. You guys can see how it looks like. Um, and I need to make a little bit of a disclaimer. These videos are not like 100% accurate because it, it depends on the weather outside. Sometimes it's shiny, sometimes it's cloudy. That's gonna affect the way the sunscreen looks on my face in these videos. It also depends on the time of the day I'm filming. So like, don't take this too seriously. It is like a general idea of how the sunscreen looks like on my skin but um yeah the second place we have the Anthelios UV Moon 400 oil control fluid oh, this is amazing guys <laughs> i love this one this is amazing uh, it spreads extremely easily it dries down very very fast you don't have a lot of time to work this one in it usually takes me like 30 seconds to apply this one once you start rubbing it in it completely dry dries down i usually apply around 35 drops that's how much I, I need for my face. Um, yeah, and it leaves you this... Uh, in the beginning, it's a little bit tacky, but then the tackiness goes away. It feels dry on the skin, dry touch. I think it's a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit more matte compared to the um, gel cream, oil control gel cream. Don't quote me that, but I, that it's just a thing that I have. Yeah, I, I don't think of any other sunscreen that dries down this fast on your face. It's like incredible. Same with this one, when it comes to the yellow cast, it's not going to be as visible because it has a lot of silica, which like um, neutralizes that a little bit. Um, now, what I love about this one is the fact that the La Roche-Posay disclosed the UVA protection of this one. The UVA protection of this one, you guys, it's 55.8, I think. Almost 56, the PPD, which is incredible. For me, extremely high UVA protection, I cannot believe that. Uh, they actually increased it by almost 10 units because the Shaka Fluid had a UVA protection of 47, I, as far as I remember. So almost 10 units. Uh, that's why I think the um, oil control gel cream has a UVA protection of um, around 45, I would say, because the UV Moon 400 original has a UVA protection of 35 that's been disclosed. But don't quote me that, it's just what I suppose. Uh, it's not... It might be very far from the truth. Now, back to this one. Yeah, if you think about, if you take into consideration the high UVA protection of this one, 
the texture is mind blowing and the finish on the skin because you cannot really have extremely high UV protection and a non greasy elegant sunscreen and this is as close as you can get to an elegant sunscreen for such a high UV protection. I'm, I'm really, really impressed they managed to do this. Now the version that I have is not fragrance free and I actually was not able to find a fragrance free version for this one, uh, which sucks for people that have fragrance allergies. I hope Larish Plus is gonna fix that and they're gonna release a fragrance free version of this one. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. It is more, again, more matte if you can say that, a little bit more matte compared to the original. The original is pretty shiny. It controls oils a little bit better. Um, amazing, amazing option. And also you have the new filter that protects against that specific wavelength, which you cannot really find on the market. Now, last but not least, like this is actually my first place, is the Antilios UV Mill 400 Oil Control Tinted Fluid. I love this one, you guys. Again, it spreads extremely, extremely easily, pretty much as easy as the uh, non-tinted version. You don't need a lot of time to work it in, goes well, uh, even on the like beard areas. I don't have a lot of facial hair, but still I have some and um, goes on pretty well. Unlike the gel cream tinted version, which went horribly around my facial hair. Um, I don't know the exact UVA protection on this one, but of course it is probably extremely high. It's probably as high as the uh, non-tinted version. I must say this one is probably the most matte sunscreen in the entire range. It's not like matte, but it is a tiny, tiny bit more matte compared to the fluid version, the non-tinted version. Oh, I'm like, my head is like gonna explode right now with all these sunscreens. Um, and the tint compared to the original one is a little bit more light, I would say, probably thanks to the good amount of silica that they've included in this one to make the sunscreen more matte. Silica is this white powder, so it's gonna make the tint a little bit um, more light, which is great for me. It's still a little, a little bit darker than my skin tone, but um, I use this one um, when, I, uh, when I use self-tanner on, it gives me this nice healthy tan and uh, of course when I use self tan I don't use it on my face because I use retinoid I just use it on my body and my body usually looks darker than my skin my, my face my face looks paler so this one works amazingly when it comes to that it makes my face match my neck um, it uh, also you have the iron oxides which are gonna protect against blue light so you not only have the extremely high UV protection you also have blue light protection which is pretty important for people struggling with melasma, dark spots, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's overall, I would say, better protection compared to the non-tinted fluid because you have the blue light protection. Um, one last benefit I could think about this one is the fact that um, it covers slight small imperfections like blackheads, uh, maybe some redness, maybe some uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's not, it's not makeup, definitely. It's just a light, light, very light coverage, uh, but it, it still is there, um, far away from makeup though. I think even guys who don't wear makeup can wear this one, or girls who don't wear makeup. Yeah, but overall, I think it's really nice that it gives you a more even skin tone. It is a benefit for me, definitely. And, um, I guess that's it, I guess that's the video, you guys. Let me know what you think about these sunscreens. Overall, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the new range. I feel like it's gonna work better for most people. They do provide a better finish on the skin, not as greasy. Um, I'm a little bit bummed about the name, oil control, because they are not oil control. I mean, they are compared to the original, but if you think about it overall, they are not. I do think some people are gonna find this oil control marketing a little bit misleading. Because they're gonna see all control, and then when I, they apply the sunscreen, it's actually not matte, it's pretty much radiant. Um, but yeah, they are better sunscreen for me, for my skin type, and in my opinion, compared to the previous, the original version. Um, you guys let me know what you think about this one, let me know if you try these sunscreens. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave some questions in the comments below, I'm gonna try to answer them. And um, yeah, I'm waiting for La Roche Posay to include this new Mixer 400 filter in their body sunscreens. That would be amazing. Hope that day is not very far. 
I love you all guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.